One of my experiences being a queer man is that I have had allies disappoint me time and time again. Even people who are dear and close friends who drop the ball in ways that are deeply hurtful and sometimes it has even ended relationships. But the thing is, more often than not, it wasn't a failure of allyship that ultimately caused the biggest problem, but rather it was their failure to acknowledge their failure and to do better. They kept wanting to defend themselves and that unwillingness to learn made them unsafe for me to be around and ultimately show their allyship to be performative. Now this is important for anyone who seeks to be an ally to people on the margins of power. But I tell this story to illustrate something from my own life. Because I experienced that as a queer man, I have to recognize that as a white man who seeks to be an ally to BIPOC communities, I recognize that I'm gonna drop the ball. I have and I will continue to screw up. And I will be called in and I will be called out. Sometimes it'll be done nicely, sometimes not. Sometimes it'll be fair, sometimes not. But the point is not that I defend myself or justify myself or try to mitigate that or explain away the situation. The point is I need to listen and learn, accept and acknowledge mistakes, do better and move on. This is one of my deepest concerns in general for white allies, but also specifically for white members of the LGBTQ community who often feel like somehow by being a marginalized group ourselves, we're not accountable in the same way with this kind of allyship, but we are. In fact, sadly, many LGBTQ rights were won through leaning into white privilege rather than transforming the problematic systems to begin with. So if we want to be good allies, we have to acknowledge our failings. We have to confess them. We have to repent of them. We have to shut up and sit down and listen and learn. And sometimes it means we have to give up things that we have feel like we've earned, respect, platform, whatever. It's not up for us to decide. Allyship is an ongoing, continual and difficult, ever-changing process. If we somehow think that we have arrived or that we have made it, we're going to make ourselves at high risk of doing more harm than good. So, yeah. If we want to be good allies, if we want to practice good allyship, we need to own our shit. Full stop.